Welcome to the Jams and Cocktails live podcast. I'm Brad Brock and I'll be your host tonight. Jordan Taylor is anchoring this whole thing down with me. Let's hear it. Looking good, as usual. How's you guys? We've got one of my favorite local bands here in the legendary JNC Lounge tonight to talk about their 10 year anniversary and their upcoming anniversary show at Terra Fermata in Stewart, Florida. We've got the Gravel King. That's beautiful. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in live with us tonight on YouTube, Facebook, or our companion internet radio station, JNC Radio, which, of course, you can find on our website, jncpodcast.com, or the Live 365 radio app. Also, a thanks to those of you watching the rerun or listening on your favorite podcast platform, wherever you're catching the show. We certainly hope that you smash the subscribe button on our YouTube channel and uh, like, follow, and share us everywhere else. Before we uh, dive into our show tonight, as tradition states, we have to get into our customary shot of the week. Um, double tick. Let me see what our shot is here. Uh, it doesn't show it. I don't know if I. I don't know if I switched the shot out. <laughs> I don't think I did from last week, but that's okay because it's a very simple shot, you guys. This is by far one of my favorites, and and I think it's every bartender's favorite shot uh, to make. Uh, it's of course the Jameson Pickleback. Yes. Awesome. Doop, doop, doop. Yay. Um, so uh, it's very simple. Uh, you pour some Jameson. And you pour some pickle juice, and then you drink the Jameson, and then you drink the pickle juice, and that's the pickle bag. <laughs> so, cheers. Thank you guys for being here. Very, Thanks, very cheers, excited. Brad. Happy so 10 much. years. Oh. Absolutely. And to all of you tuning in live with us tonight. Cheers. Woo! Oh, boy. <laughs> it's just, it's so good. How you doing over this? Sack? I'm hanging in there. <laughs> Double up. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, that was quite yes. Thank refreshing. You. Rough, refreshing. Rough, refreshing. Rough, refreshing. Chase it with some crown. Oh, there, there you, you go. go. That's the way to wash do it. it down with I'm the crown. Chase it with some makers here. <laughs> you guys uh, join us for our shot of the week each week by visiting jncpodcast.com. And uh, you can head right over to the shot of the week link there to see what we're planning uh, and then get everything you need delivered to your door by our friends at Drizzly. Drizzly. Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) That was important. Drizzly. (laughs) Where's Ellie when you need her? Yep. Not even tuning in. That's what she's not doing. Rude. (laughs) All right, you guys. Uh, uh, As promised, uh, and, and you've already seen them, we've got a group of the busiest musicians on the Treasure Coast and beyond. Uh, they're celebrate, celebrating 10 years of great music and uh, we're stoked to have them here tonight in the lounge to talk about it. Let's hear it once again for the Grapple King. <laughs> yes. So how are you guys? Great. Thanks yeah. for having us. Pretty doing good. Well. Thank you for good, good, good. Here. Doing good. Good. Doing good. Doing good. <laughs> I'm glad I could hear everybody. It's perfect. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad to have you guys here. Uh, very, very excited that you're getting back together for your 10 year anniversary for a, a wonderful show at a great venue uh, here on the Treasure Coast, which is Terra Formata, of course. And uh, I'm very stoked. I was just telling you earlier, I have a show at Colab Kitchen just a, a block south and uh, until eight o'clock. And then I'm beelining right over there. I'm gonna, you'll make it just in time. I know. I'm going to leave all my stuff or leave all my stuff in the in the van but in the parking lot i'm just gonna walk i'm gonna run oh yeah so you just told everybody where yeah, you, all your equipment's gonna be <laughs> not gonna Disregard be around that, that last state live on the air not yeah. be there <laughs> on second thought you know what i'm just gonna go home he's I'm gonna not come even, home first not yeah. even going dump to it show. all off no i'm just giving him anxiety he's not gonna come at all thanks yeah. a lot zach <laughs> i'm so sorry but i did it the you know it's for I the betterment of men yeah. Yeah. i pre- uh, cheers i appreciate that yeah. so 
10 year anniversary. We're going to get into it. I have tons of questions for you guys uh, individually and collectively. Are, are we excited or what? Heck yeah. Oh, thanks right. for having yeah. us. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So um, let me let me set the scene here. <laughs> Whatever that means. So the burning question is a lot of bands have a hard time getting through the one year mark. And that's the truth. I've been in some of them. Uh, so here we are celebrating 10 years together as the Gravel Kings. So obviously you guys have been on hiatus or not even I wouldn't even call it a hiatus. You just took a pause um, and t- pursued other ventures. Yeah. Uh, so what has kept you guys together? What's the glue that keeps you coming back and and doing Gravel Kings? I think it's that we're all friends. Yeah, we said we'd always do this. Yeah, pretty much. It's yeah. kind of pointless to break up at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Very We're married, gonna, lots of kids. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to end up uh, hanging out and drinking and being like, we should do that. So might as well just keep, yeah, making well just keep playing it. Yeah. yeah. With that sentiment, how did this come together in the first place? Uh, I feel like Doug's I feel fault. like it's kind of like a full circle <laughs> moment, right? <laughs> yeah, it's 100 percent Doug's fault. How did this come together? Uh, I think I just booked the show. I was like, hey, you guys want to <laughs> keep doing this or what? <laughs> you mean the beginning of yeah. Gravel Kings? Yeah, let's the oh, show? Yeah, the oh, genesis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Well, none of that's think, Doug's fault. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be, I think I that's going to be on, guys that's gonna be on <laughs> Zach for sure. Uh, it was at uh, Joey's wedding. You asked me if you if I wanted, you had a band. He's like, hey, I'm pl- I got a banjo. Uh, you want to come over sometime? And I was like, yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> now, that we, was we started uh, jamming with our friend Johnny, and uh, then uh, we got this guy Mike to do upright bass for a little while, and then it just kind of went from there. It definitely evolved thing. for yeah, sure. It evolved a lot it, over I, the years. Didn't you have, like, I, I think I remember telling uh, Bashan last night that we built the first two songs off of, like, club songs that Zach had made on his computer for fun. Oh yeah, yeah. I had, uh, yeah, I had so that, several renditions of those songs. Yeah, so uh, they were, um, yeah. I think there's like more alive was more the first alive has one, like yeah. the lead that like kind of started the band yeah. a little bit. And no it was, kidding. Yeah, I showed up and he was like, "Yeah, I got this thing. If you could play it on banjo." Yeah, and he's like, "Yeah, it goes like this." And I was like, "All right." Down, 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 down. Yeah, exactly. So Still you can't have get it. out of my head. It's still in there forever. In there. Yeah, forever. <laughs> forever. I can play. That's like one of the only riffs I can play on every instrument, like even instruments I don't know how to play. I'm like, well, <laughs> you can figure it out yeah, immediately. Yeah. It's stuck in you. <laughs> That's great. So with this lineup, the four of you guys, what was the first gig that you did together? And how did this how did this lineup come together? Um, that had, It was Tara from Mata gig. Um, Why does it always start at, at yeah. Tara from Mata? It's a good venue. They've treated us nice every time and we play there a lot. But yeah. go ahead, Aaron. What? Well, I I was it was my first show with the with the band the, the last member I guess so it was my first show so that's why I remember it was at Terra Formata. Um, I think we played with the, the I forget what the band was. They had like a um, Hollis Brown. That's what it was. It was Hollis <laughs> Brown. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then they ended up opening up like the Black Crows or the Counting Crows for a couple. Counting the Black Crows. Counting the Black. Counting crows. the Black Crows. Counting Crows is one of my favorite bands of all time. Both bands. Believe it. Yep. Yeah. They are both very good, but that yeah, that was that was our first show, and I, that was a nervous one for me because I had to learn all the songs. And I'm not a bass player, so <laughs> at, at the time, yeah, I was, I was like, I just picked up the bass today <laughs> and was uh, was working it out. Doug had an interesting first show. Oh, I did. It was it was a lot of fun. There was a, a pushing match, and uh, <laughs> I thought I was like, what's happening? Should I stop or just keep? Joey's like, just keep going, keep playing. That somebody got in Zach's face dancing a little too hard and drunk and he wasn't having it and so Zach pushed him back and like everything I was like what's happening right now it, it ended up working out so was this one of those venues where you're like floor level with yeah, every oh, yeah. other human being it was being? respectable it's on the patio oh yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Patio. Yeah. Yeah. the old patio yeah so, so, listen man if I had a nickel the old saying if I had a nickel for every time some drunk fell into my stuff or because we used to um i used to play in this country line dance band for years when i was a kid kid like 16 17 and uh, we toured around florida just playing honky tonks and all we did was play dance line dance covers 
you know, and we had to have a click in our ears so that we were right on time for the dancers. And that was what we did. Nobody cared about anything else <laughs> other than how fast the song was and what songs we were playing. But people would get sloppy by they the end of the rowdy, night. You yeah. can kind of cut loose after the line dancers have had enough. And uh, yeah, man, tripping over monitors and just falling in whenever you played a place that was ground level. So anytime so, we walked in, there was any elevation. I was like, oh, thank you. Chicken wire, like Blues Brothers style. It's exactly bonus. like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I could have I, I dreamed of chicken wire for some time. <laughs> but oh, man, awesome. All right, you guys. Um, so let's get this out of the way. Let's plug the show Friday night. Let's get that straight out of the gate and we'll do it again later. But uh, tell us about uh, this anniversary show coming up Friday night. Where's my camera? There it is. Friday night at Terra Formata. Um, yeah. Let us know what we need to know about that show. Uh, the doors open at five and nothing starts till 630. Perfect. So you got an hour and a half of waiting around. So I just suggest everybody show up at maybe 629. <laughs> there you go. Um, and make us a little nervous that nobody's going to come at all. Oh, yeah. That's always <laughs> the fight or flight comes out. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then uh, uh, Gary Laser Eyes is going to play till eight. And then I think we're going on at eight thirty. Cool. And sounds good. We're going to play until they tell us to stop, I guess. Yeah. I'm just joking. We're only playing 16 songs. Yeah, only that, six. That's, only that's only 16. Yeah. So yeah. it's like an hour and 30 to yeah. two hours. And yeah, it minutes. depends on how much we're talking on stage. And I, I believe yeah. there's going to be tears shed. I think oh, yeah. there's going to be, you know, panties thrown. Yeah. I imagine. I'm, uh, I'm throwing all my panties at people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all 3XL. Just bringing the whole yeah. laundry basket and launching it into the crowd. <laughs> I love it. Um, uh, Jose. Uh, tuning in tonight on YouTube said not going to brag, but I'm neighbors with Aaron. He told me about his band and I've listened to their songs weekly on rotation ever since. Thanks so much. Oh, that's yeah. freaking awesome. Oh, that is awesome. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah. Street team. Aaron. <laughs> Thanks, house. Street team Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> he said super dope band, man. Thanks for tuning in, Jose. How's, how's Aaron as a neighbor, though, Jose? <laughs> I don't, yeah, tell I, us more. I don't yeah. live there anymore. A whole, uh, <laughs> whole other story. <laughs> Uh, different podcast <laughs> well good deal um another question about the show is there anything top secret or exclusive that you'd like to uh uh put out there tonight that we can expect at the show we will be, ha we'll be having a guest that night i guess we, it's safe to announce yeah, who that's yeah, gonna that's be fine. uh basham stewart's gonna be joining us on keyboard for all the songs <laughs> yeah. Dude, very very, very awesome. talented very yeah. very talented person. he's phenomenal so. if you guys don't know about basham stewart uh, I have piano or and keyboard friends that I think are amazing, and they're like, "I'm no Basham Stewart, but <laughs> I'm playing here tonight." And I'm like, "Oh my god, yeah, this he's the go-to, oh, yeah. and everything he does is amazing." Yeah, nice. he's got great feel. It's a lot of fun rehearsing with him and everything like that. We've oh, definitely... I'm glad that you guys have rehearsed. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, perfect. I mean, uh, we, we almost yeah, didn't. One or two. <laughs> we almost didn't, and uh, I wasn't worried about it. Right. But he yeah. he had some time last night, so we actually got all we got to play all for the first time last night, and so uh, it was really it was a great cool. time. It was Super awesome. Fun. We had a blast. So uh, I'm so excited to see you guys play with him because because uh, you know there's not on the records anyway. I don't. There's no key parts at all. There's, so there's a it's buried. Is but there? It's mostly yeah. organ. So it's it's gonna okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. Maybe there is some organ. Like it's like there atmospheric Pro more producer driven. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> producer driven. Right. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. It's it, it's under the mix. But uh, yeah, no, he he's definitely got a lot of cool ideas, and he's we kind of hit it off immediately as far as groove and yeah, no, it was be a awesome. lot of fun. Yeah, everything I've ever heard about him is that he just is a pocket player, mm -hmm. and while he's good on his own right, when he gets into a group setting, he just nails it. So I'm very excited to see it. I, I'm sad though that I'm gonna miss. I will likely miss Gary Laser Eyes. I've uh, heard great things. Yeah, uh, I was listening to him on the way here. They're pretty good. It, it, um, it's just fun, chill music it's so it's feel good it's so easy to listen to like and and i love that like I'll, I'll people will tell you if you hear if you know the tabloids will probably uh put this out but i love pop music like and it's a guilty pleasure like i'll listen to top 40 radio and be like eh, I'm, a, I'm into this yeah grooves are grooves <laughs> you know but after the 900th time i've heard it in one single day i'm like okay i'm over this song but yeah, uh, yeah. but like I'll, I'll put it on uh, and, and i'll listen to the top 40 and i'm, I'm like okay this is okay but uh 
So uh, my point is uh, I like music that's easy to listen to. Yeah, they're uh, great. No, yeah, I mean, and they are very good. Of, I'm looking forward to watching them. They had a lot of different. I mean, there's like uh, there's some reggae in there. There's some pop. There's rock. There's some indie licks. Like they got a lot of stuff. Yeah, they it's crazy. Like I was listening to a couple of their tracks before um, um, during during the day today while I was uh, preparing for this. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a, a very nice start to the night. Awesome. Um, yeah, very cool. OK, so. Now that we got that plug out of the way, and we'll come back to that, of course, uh, I'm going to go through uh, some of your side projects, and uh, we'll start with Zach, yeah, uh, because I'm <laughs> I'm most familiar with uh, Zach's side project, of course, uh, the guitarist of podcast alumni, Sandman Sleeps. Uh-huh. Uh, so just uh, let us know what's going on with you guys. Anything new? What's, what's going on with Sandman Sleeps? Uh, we're done. Oh, perfect. I'm just joking. Uh, no, things are going great. Um, we're going to try to get out of state a little bit this year, um, get on the road and play a lot of shows. Uh, I guess we're working on a new album. We got a lot of new songs. I didn't really look at it as we were working on a new album until one of us said it the other day. I was like, oh, I guess we are working on a new album. We're nowhere near going to the studio yet, but we've got a lot of new stuff. So that's been cool. fun. Um, and then... Uh, I tried. Uh, I tried having some plants around the house. It's another side project of mine. Uh, How's that going? Killed them all. Oh uh, yes. So, <laughs> no um, green thumb. Yeah. The succulents lived. Everything else is uh, has met its maker. You mean the succulents, the ones that can basically live in a basement in the dark forever? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those are all still alive. So I guess I'm a succulent guy. <laughs> A sucker for succulent. Uh, yeah. You heard it here first, folks. Zach is a succulent guy. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love that. It's funny. I, I ran into Karsten recently. <laughs> Hello, Clarice. <laughs> um, I ran into Karsten at uh, the Harmony Music Lounge in Fort Pierce. Uh, randomly, How I... Did uh, get there? I, it was... Seriously, when I when I tell you this was a, this was a random occurrence uh i had told the owner of harmony lounge that i w- i was going to come by and, and just check out the place sure, yeah. i hadn't been there and it's a it's a live music joint and it's a very cool vibey spot and i was like i definitely want to come i'm going to come i was playing at manatee island over there on the island and i was done at eight so i was like ah, perfect I'll, I'll pop right over so as i go in there austin beal mm. karsten and uh and and just a, a, another collection of people were all just kind of rolling in there to check it out also yeah and i was like oh great i'm just gonna connect myself to this uh particular group and uh so it, it was sounds great like a lot of fun it, honestly it, yeah. it was <laughs> it sounds like a good night it was a great time. night it was <laughs> so sure. fun you know and the venue is actually very cool i wish more people knew about it cool. um uh, we're actually gonna have uh priscilla on the show at some point uh to kind of blow the place up because right. it's a huge venue it's a huge space yeah and uh and bless her heart she's like she's there you know she owns the joint and she's throwing drinks down and it's oh, it's awesome. very cool so thursday night is their like open jam night so anybody can go in and whatever and uh karsten got up with austin and uh and a couple other people and they jammed and i was like no i'm not doing oh, nice. i love austin's <laughs> guitar playing he fucking ripped austin. yeah he's austin no freaking, been, he's so so much fun austin too. i've <laughs> only known as a drummer and then I watched him really? play guitar, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, he's... I've never known him as a drummer. Yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't even, really. Yeah, I I knew he had a drum set, but I didn't think like he. I thought it was just for like looks. The first time I met Austin <laughs> was like back in two thousand ten, like, yeah. and he bought some overhead drum mics from me off of uh, Craigslist and came to my house and got them, and I was like, "Cool!" And and I knew his brother in high school. But I did not know Austin. And I was like, oh, we had that little conversation, awkward conversation at the front door. And I was like, OK, I'll take that money. Yeah. They're, they're twins, out. right? Uh, they're not twins. Why did I think they were twins? I don't think they're, maybe they are twins. Not everybody that wears glasses is related. <laughs> <laughs> Just but, they look exactly the same. They don't look <laughs> the same at all. I thought they were like not identical twins, but. I might be wrong. About I don't know. That. I don't know. I don't know. If, is anybody that. is anybody tuning in? Is yes. Alicia is that, tuning yeah, in? Yeah, Alicia, help us. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Um, but then years passed, years, and uh, and Austin started following our podcast, and um, and we reconnected. And now I see him out at various places like like Harmony Music Lounge, 
And uh, he's like, you know, I still have those microphones. So if you ever want to like borrow them or whatever, I'm like, maybe I would want to borrow my old microphones back. What a nice guy. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> at that time, nice I was working guy. on cruise ships. So I would come home. Uh, you'd think I'd save a lot of money on cruise ships. Spent everything, every dime. <laughs> so I'd come home and I'd sell all my music gear because I didn't need it. So I'd like get on Craigslist and I was a store for the two months I was home. And, uh, and then I'd go back out and do it. But yeah, he bought my microphones. He still has them. So... If you're listening, Austin, I want my microphones back <laughs> <laughs> at a fraction of what you paid for them. Um, but no, um, where was I? Side projects, of course. Uh, so Karsten uh, ran into him there uh, and it was great to see him. It was great to see them play. And uh, it's always good to see musicians out of their element, really, uh, in general, because it's, it's as raw as you're going to get. Yeah, at, a, at a, a jam like that, so it was good to see. Were there any uh, DSC riffs that popped? Oh yeah, up yeah, there? DSC oh. Project. I don't know if you, you remember that band at all. I don't. That's Austin's mm. old band with yeah. Karsten. Really? That's yeah. Old school stuff. The there. DSC yeah. Project. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, who? My old band Proval used to play with them all the time, like back way back. Maybe this was the. Maybe this is what it was because like they all got up together. So maybe this was. Was there a bald guy that was know. singing and playing guitar? I don't know. I had been all right. playing because that might have been night. Nick. I know Nick was in town. He's oh, also in that band. So maybe, maybe it was them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That sounds like a, a cool catch, though. If he could swing into somewhere in Fort Pierce and be like, what? yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is happening. <laughs> well, awesome, man. I'm, I'm Sam and Sleeps, of course, uh, is a mainstay here. Uh, we feature guys all the time. We love it. I'm so glad you plants. guys are doing good. And we're, we're going to feature your plants, too. Once you Send us some pics. nurse them back yeah. to all those succulents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, we'll move over to uh, Joey and Doug. Um, you guys have a group called Libica. Sure. Yeah. Or yeah. Libica. Or Libica. But either one, either we one. don't really yeah, either care. One, either one's, either one's care. okay. Yeah. Okay. We understand that you go on Google and it says it one way, and yeah. we're, you know, we had an idea it's and it's Libica. the other way, but it's the same way. Literally. It's so I was like, how to pronounce this word? And there was multiple pronunciations and it was recordings of people saying it. And I was like, well, that's not helpful at all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but so we're, uh, what's really cool about this group, uh, aside from you guys being in it, uh, is uh, you have some metal royalty uh, kind yeah. of, you know, uh, run in the front of the show there. Justin Foley, of course, the drummer for Kill Switch Engage. Uh, is in this group as well. So tell us about that project and, and how that all kind of came together. Uh, we just kind of were always hang out, you know, kind of talk about, hey, let's first it was me and Justin talking about let's let's start a band one day where we both don't play drums. <laughs> <laughs> it's then, a good it's it's a good start. Yeah, it was kind of like start. just drunk talk, you know, and they're like, ah, and then finally he sent sent Joey and I some demos and He's like, hey, let's actually really do this. And we, we looked over him and listened to him. We're like, yeah, let's let's jam on this stuff. And I learned how to play bass. And, you know, Justin already really knew how to play guitar. Yeah, he already. He's, he's a, a, a he he pulled, on pulled one guitar. over on you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was like, you know, we'll get you. You know, that's yeah. cool. You'll be the better guitar player. And then not so much. <laughs> yeah. he, he's a very, very talented musician. And sure. uh, he put together a bunch of really cool stuff for us to build on. And it's been pretty rad. But, yeah, awesome. it just came together. More yeah, or less. We just kind of had fun with it. And just uh, we record, recorded down in uh, Miami with uh, Jonathan Nunez. Yeah. From Torch. And yeah. That, that was an awesome experience in itself. So that was pretty cool. And then we presented the music to uh, management, his management, and they loved it. And they were like, hey, we're going to get you going with this. That's awesome. We were kind of talking off air. Um, you know, I, I was blown away that it was all instrumental. And we were kind of talking and I was like, how does this go over live, you know, with a, with an audience that, you know, and I guess it's my pop brain that always is at the forefront. You know, you always expect music and lyrics and that's like the thing. But uh, but I imagine there is an audience for for instrumental music and for what you said, it goes over really well and it's very melodical. It's it's really wonderful stuff, and you, uh, you, and you, you guys got to check it out. It's on Spotify, oh, yeah, so uh, I'll, I'll definitely link it out to the Forever links. But yeah, for um, sure. uh, it's we I mean, we just did a, a little Northeast run with Kill Switch and Unearth and Rivers of Nile, and playing at these bigger venues, it was pretty awesome. And then the the crowd response was like really everybody was like enthralled and just like watching. So and kind cool. of like it was it. surreal. Yeah, it, it, it was surreal to watch everybody like how 
how they reacted to it. Because, and it's, you know, you, like it, you said, you expect vocals and right, right, everybody right. was still really in it. And it was, it was pretty cool. It's so wild too, because you know, and when you think of metal music, I don't know for me, like, you know, I'm, I'm ready to like rage, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. And, yeah. uh, and, and to hear that people are just really just into it, I guess like similar to like tool fans, you know, like I, 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 wouldn't call myself a tool fan uh but i enjoy their music i think it's wonderful i think they're very similar to what uh we had in the 70s when you had rush and uh and then moving on into the future with um oh god now the, the name's escaping me but uh just these theatrical metal bands you know for the lack of better words sure. but uh you know the music tells a story right and uh and i feel like kind of listening through the album today as I, I just had it on as I was working I was like this all this music tells this wonderful story instrumentally and uh, and I love the cover photo uh, I wish I had it to, to <laughs> few Joey's but, cat stripey yeah, that's, that's stripey. your cat that's my, that's my cat puppy <laughs> I yeah. love it I was like this is crazy it's all crazy but this it so cool thank and, you so uh, much it's awesome to hear and you guys are it, this is a signed band you guys are are signed yeah, and uh metal, yeah, and metal blade records was uh kind enough kind enough to um yeah pick up the record and we're just uh go to metal blade and get it and it's we got it on vinyl we got it on spotify all that good stuff but yeah as far as the live uh aspect of everything um I feel like the post rock and post metal stuff has really picked up as far as I, I kind of it kind of transcends a little bit. You know, you like you said, you expect to go to a metal show and you're going to go rage, like you said, and, you know, maybe crowd surf, push some people around, have a good time, you know, all that good stuff. Um, I was really surprised, not surprised, but really uh, like honored almost just to see people just pushed up as close as yeah, they could get yeah, for our set, just yeah. to watch us play and to see what we had to offer because in that type of stuff like it is progressive so uh, in a way it's progressive you know and it's a rock and roll band ultimately it's music you sure know I mean? sure like, sure guitars and drums you know with no <laughs> vocals but we try to make it interesting and we try to put a lot of layers on it so it's got movements almost you know and uh you know i would say it borrows from every aspect of or it borrows aspects from everything that we enjoy musically so it kind of adds to that um the live feel the live appeal that way you're there and you're you're um I don't know. You're feeling it as it happens, so you don't need to get, you don't need to get nasty with your uh, <laughs> right. with your neighbor. You can just yeah. be like, whoa! You can just stand Did there you and think enjoy about it. this one thing that happened in my <laughs> life during that bridge? Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's it's very so crazy, melodic, but very heavy at the same yeah. time. Yeah, it just it, it makes me wonder if you know in in the past when chamber music or or orchestras were like doing their when that kind of evolved from whatever that was before. And then people are going and sitting in an audience and watching these shows in the 1700s. Yeah. Baroque. You know, I and, love that. Analogy. And are just like, Oh my yeah. God, this is pretty crazy. much what it is. It's a you new know, age rules, version yeah. of that. Right. And now you have this, this amazing arrangement of, of guitars, bass and drums, you know, and people are doing the same thing, you know, uh, it's just, it, it's, it's interesting to put in that perspective for me anyway, because, music is forever as far as i'm concerned and any way you present it somebody's gonna be like ah this is my shit mm -hmm. yeah. you know and <laughs> yeah. and i love that I'm, I'm so stoked for you guys well, thank you so much and thank uh you. and I, it. if you guys are ever local uh hit me up please hit cool. me up i'll yeah. come out and see it i, sure. I, I, I want to yeah, we'll let you know i want to be moved yeah. I want to be. You guys moved. have a show. At, did you guys have a show coming up at Terra? Yeah. We oh yeah. <laughs> well, well, I was about to do January twentieth. January twentieth. Terra from oh. yeah. No kidding. Yeah. yeah okay. Come yeah. Out Friday. Friday. I'll be there. I'm their booking agent. Okay. Uh, oh, so you know things? <laughs> no, I I, oh. I just Actually, saw I it on. It. I saw it online. <laughs> awesome. Perfect. That's is all it, an ad for. Is it. this also <laughs> through uh, TC Live? Is yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Through through Al Beltran, we're gonna give him a shameless plug. Uh, Al is the man, and we were talking off air. Also, Al was on our show doing the Death Nut Challenge yes. with us, the Hot <laughs> Nut. You good? And wow. uh, and uh, yeah, he he took it like a champ, man. He barely he didn't broke drink a, a single thing. Yeah, he yeah. barely broke a sweat. Yeah, and was, uh, but I have so many ticks, I would just be like touching my eyes on accident the whole time. <laughs> just like, oh oh no, that's not good. Yeah, I put them all in like little little. Every nut was in a little cup, so that you didn't have to touch anything. So. 
Nice. Uh, well, I was trying. I was Whatever. trying. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see what else we got here. Um, nothing like a hot nut. <laughs> nothing like a hot nut right in your mouth. Anyway, <laughs> sorry about the kids listening. <laughs> You guys are super busy. Uh, Joey, you've also got a group called Day Spent. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about that group. Cool. Uh, yeah. Day Spent is like um, a lot of friends that I've had forever. Just um, I started with a couple demos because I wanted to play some heavier stuff when we started, you know, taking a little bit of break and this stuff. Um and I just made a couple things. Originally, I was singing for it uh, just because there was <laughs> nobody else is going to do it at the time. So uh, and I am terrible at singing. So whoever has that footage, delete it. Uh, and I know who you are. Um, and I know where you live. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we just um, we uh, just tried to build some stuff around stuff that we really liked playing uh, previously in the area. Uh, I was in a band called Barriers Now Bridges for a long time. Our bass player, Huey, was in a couple bands, um, actually really great punk bands back in the day. Uh, he was in a band called uh, um, Vision of the Blind. Uh, he was good friend. Yeah. What's yeah. That? McManus? Yeah, McManus. That's the. Did that's the, McManus? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? McManus, I'm sorry. I don't even think he might not have been in Vision of the Blind. I apologize. But McManus <laughs> was the. We're just making band. stuff up. It yeah, doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah. No, but uh, uh, pretty much. Uh, and then Nancy was in a, a few bands. Uh, that's our vocalist. Mm -hmm. um, she's been a part of the hardcore scene forever. She's amazing. She does really well uh, at what she does. And she's been a, a staple in the hardcore community and stuff like that. Uh, we've done. Um, many shows with her in my with my old band we've done a lot of shows with her old band uh murder in the first was a great uh, project that she was a part of and meridian um just old heads if you will and then uh, uh of course the other dude on guitar is uh justice i uh worked with him for a long time and everything i thought i knew about uh that genre he was like nah you're nah like i was there you know and so he's like a, he's like a literally like a, what you would call he's an old solid head. Dude. he's a very very cool kind person and he, he that. he's got a lot of um a lot of knowledge on the subject which if you're in that style it's a necessity you have to know your yeah. history um and then our drummer is johnny the original drummer of grabber kings so <laughs> so Grab crazy Bulls kings i'm not gonna let it slide <laughs> <laughs> grabber kings grabber kings but yeah yeah so the original drummer well uh, i feel like there's a story there we'll we'll circle back yeah, yeah. we'll circle back but yeah we have uh we have stuff on spotify and everything like that and we play Kind of all over Florida here and there. I think we have a three or four day run coming up in April um, nice. to, to to be you know announced and all that good sure, stuff. Sure, of course. Um, but yeah, it's it's awesome stuff. It's very in your face. It's got a, a little bit of the East Coast hardcore traditional vibe, but with a little bit of newer like metal spin to it. And we have a lot of fun. I love it. Days days spent. Yes. So what, what's 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 the grabber? The Graver Kings. The Gravert. Graver Kings. Gravert yeah. Kings. What's that? Yeah. Uh, that's our DJ project. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're reverting to Gravert. I don't know. Okay. That's the end of that story. <laughs> yeah. That was a good story. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's a good time. We have fun. Um, yeah. Come do a show. Yes. Day spent. You'll, you'll see what it's like. Stand in the Check back. it out. Uh, Doug. Uh, Aaron, I'm getting to you. I no promise. Worries. I promise. Uh, Doug, you've got a band. He's getting mad over there. Uh, and, and listen, <laughs> I, I think that this is sing, hands down, singularly, and I told Jordan this earlier, the best band name of all time. I wish I'd have thought of it first. Uh, Garantua Tarantula. Gargantua Tarantula. Gargant that's what I did. It's I say a mouthful. That? Gargantua Tarantula. Gartar. We're all fucking Gartar. up band names. Gartar. Gartar. Gargantua Tarantula. It's a big sticker. This is not the Jordy <laughs> Files. It, it, I don't even think it needs to be a big sticker. I think it just could be a tarantula. That's very, very big. Maybe a tarantula coming over Gartar, some buildings. Big yeah, Gartar is like Gartar the, the sounds, household name. That's the house name. Yeah, yeah. Um, Shredders. So dope. Uh, and, uh, you know, just when you get down to the nitty gritty of punk rock i feel like when i was getting into some of the music today uh, i was like i was like all right and then it kind of got into this kind of screamo thing which i hush, uh, was hush, a fan hush. of like in the day you know like the early 2000s yeah. and i was like oh this takes it to a whole other level so tell us a little bit about gargantua 
Tarantula. They're just kind of a band that came together. Uh, Hutch, the lead singer and guitar player, he's got a, an awesome range. He's got a great voice. Crazy. Insane. Oh, yeah. And a lot of people can't even handle it, but uh, that, that's just what he does. And he's kind of pulled it back a little bit. And, you know, we started, we were a band about 10 years ago or, okay. or a little bit more. And we kind of, you know, we did our thing. We had a lot of fun and we put out an album and then, you know, it, we just kind of took a bit of a break. And then uh, we all just came back together in the last year. And we're like, decided like, hey, let's get the original lineup back together. Minus the bass player who moved away or else we probably would have brought him back in. Yeah, uh, it's tough to, tough yeah. to get them back, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it's like really high energy rock and roll with a lot of punk influence and kind of, you know, a lot of breakdowns and stuff like that. And it's, it's, it's just a lot of fun. We're, we're glad to be back together and playing this music again. again. And, you know, we're doing the old songs and you, you got a lot of new stuff. And we're, we're actually playing... Uh, we're playing at Stamp Fest in uh, Sunday. Next, oh yeah, on Sunday. That's yeah. up in Vera Beach, yeah, right? Vera, yeah. Sandman the Sleeps Stamp is playing that one yeah, too. Yeah. Oh, same same show. Is Dave Sandman playing too. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. I thought I saw like a flyer for that. Yeah. Re- we're pretty recently. Yeah, I'm gonna double duty that. <laughs> day, yeah, actually. he's got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Wait, what, what? Triple duty for the weekend. Gravel Kings on Friday. Libica and uh, Gartar on Sunday. Oh, Libica's playing Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So if you got if you if anybody wants to uh, throw a bird at three stones. Yeah. Uh, come, yeah. Come Sandman sleeps. Labica and uh, Gargantua Tarantula all Sunday at the Stamp and Vero. Yeah. Nice. You want to know what I love about yeah. Zach? Hmm. Is he's very confident by calling it Labica, well, and that's what I'm going to call it now. Is that what? Well, that's either one. There's yeah, no, there's no judgment. Judgment. That's what I'm. Labica, Libica, Libica, all of them. Wait, how did you say it, Zach? Libica. Yeah, exactly. No, you didn't say it like that. <laughs> did not. did, did I, how did I say it? Labika? You, you just said, said Labica, it fast, yeah. like Labika. Oh, Labika. Yeah. Well, well Labika. I mean, like if I was to say it slow and sexy, like I'd be like, it's Labika. <laughs> I like that. Like, Labika. And then, you know, if I was to say it like, you know, in my native Florida language, I'd be like, Labika. Labika. <laughs> I think that's what Labika. Labika. Oh, Labika. I love it. Hard eye. I love it. Oh, that's, well, that's the show to promote. Yeah, uh, we'll talk more about that. Uh, at the stamp. When when is that happening? Sunday, uh, Sunday, 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 Sunday. Sunday. Th- this Sunday? Yes. Oh, yeah. geez, this a, is all coming we, up yeah, very quickly. We got a bit this, of a weekend. <laughs> this is all <laughs> happening too fast. I don't know if a I bit of a rock and roll week. Actually, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it. what time? Oh, there you go. Ah, <laughs> That's perfect. Open, isn't it? Mark, sounded yeah, a little perfect. ASMR. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what time is that show going down up there on Sunday? I believe it's all day. All day. Starts it's at fest. twelve and goes till like. 10, Question 10 or mark, 11, I believe. Yeah. All right, I, Zach thing. has me <laughs> slaving away at sailfish until five, so uh, I I oh, may yeah. be inclined to jump in the car and, and drive up there. Yeah, it's for like that twenty minutes. It's, from not a, time. Yeah. it's not a far drive from there. No, well, right on US Street. Right, it's right up the street. Right up the street. It'd be a good time. Awesome, Aaron. I'm coming to you, pal. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> that's a hutch. Uh, yeah, that's a hutch quote. Hutch. <laughs> So, uh, and this is probably the coolest thing. You have a boutique music store called Ghost Town Music. So, tell us about that. Uh, I know Zach is a customer, and uh, yeah. and and I was kind of looking over. Yeah, we're all Facebook customers. <laughs> it, some of the coolest, rarest shit I've ever seen musically uh, that you've had listed over time. So, tell us about tell us about Ghost Music. I mean, um, in 2020. It was a ghost town, and everyone was not doing anything. All the musicians weren't doing anything. Right, That's where the name came from, guys. Yeah. Oh. Um, this is some B roll I've never heard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I was like, I had some extra cash. I was, you know, I was working at the restaurant, and it, we weren't closed, and it was to go was crazy, and I had extra funds, and people were hurting for money. So I was like, hey, I'll buy all your stuff. So all I, of it. So this is what I started doing: was just buying um, all my stuff, but I, you know, eclectically, I tried to buy vintage stuff. So um, it just stockpiled over the years, and now it's my living room looks like a little museum. <laughs> and I don't, I'm just um, I'm, work, I'm working. I'm working. It really does. Yeah, it looks, it looks a whole, it's a beautiful. Room. There's a whole Fender room. <laughs> yeah, I have. I have a oh whole. My God. Yeah. I have a whole vintage Fender room um, that is uh, I've acquired over the years. And uh, well, I'm, what I'm doing with it now is um, I, I'm on Reverb. Even the Reverb's fees are crazy. I do the I do the Facebook marketplaces and stuff like that. I want to I really want to do like a brick and mortar shop, right? Because right. like Guitar Center blows, and <laughs> I'll say that on live air. Um, <laughs> uh, 
it would be really cool to have like a but, mom and pop place. I just want to the guys that work there are wonderful. Yes. And, yeah. and they're oh, yeah. all good. Oh, yeah. I, I, I was Aaron's going to hire all of them once I, Guitar I, Center. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just told Jordan, I was like, we went in there. I had to get some like uh, one spot plugs. Mm-hmm. Um, and they have like, they're, they're great. The, our Guitar Center here in Fort St. Louis is great for stuff like that. Great people. But like everything. And the people there are just ama- like amazing. But like. <laughs> It's just the, they never have anything interesting. I guess no. that's I guess that's what it comes down to. They never have anything interesting and they and they rarely have anything I ever need. I was impressed though. We went in and I was like, "Oh my god, they actually have my guitar strings that I would buy. They actually have my guitar picks that I would buy. They actually have this." I was I haven't been in there in months and I was like, "I just need some I had some, no, some power cables sure. that went string- out." <laughs> and I was like, "Ah, the- <laughs> the, the the essentials are there for right, sure. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, it's it's but not even sometimes. Like I've gone, <laughs> yeah. I went in there to like buy a DI box. I was like, I just need a DI box. I needed it immediately for a show, and uh, they were like, Oh, we don't have those DI box. Like I just needed the the fifty dollar one, the very cheap one. Yeah. And they were like, oh, we have this $99 one. And I was like, I don't need that. <laughs> I was com- like, commission. I'm, I'm trying to go and make money <laughs> yeah. today. <laughs> God. Anyway, but I would love to do like a brick and mortar shop. Like I grew up on like rock shop um, over oh, in Fort oh, Pierce, right off of Midway, yeah, Midway yep. and US shout one. Yeah, to Tom, yeah, shout out to Tom. He yeah, lit, Tom. He, he's up in North Carolina now, but um, I, I grew up in that shop, so I just it would be really cool to have a you know a vintage like vintage guitar closet was really cool. Yeah, um, I remember Sheldon that place. Eisenberg worked there and stuff like that, and I just think that it would be really cool to have something like that instead of having like the the Sears of a guitar shop. Of a guitar center. Oh, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, yeah. it, it, yeah. Sears, it, ha- it has independent, nothing. Independent <laughs> business. <laughs> yeah, it, it has, has nothing but financing. <laughs> nothing but financing. <laughs> that's, where, that's where they get you. Yeah, that's where they get you. That's where Reaver gets you too, though. Um, but that that's the that's the goal is <laughs> yeah. to, is to to do that. Get a brick and mortar shop going, and um, I have to acquire more. Need to get some. Uh, some business loans and stuff to acquire more. Ah, yeah. So if anybody out there listening, you want yeah. a business venture, dive into. Let's, let's do it. You got to play that Fantasy Five, and you got to play the you got to play the Mega Millions right now. My God, it's almost a <laughs> billion dollars. Oh my God! Could you imagine all the shit you could buy for a billion dollars, man? I wouldn't even open like it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the store. I'm moving to an island. You'll never see me again. Me and Gary are going to be hanging out having pina coladas. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Uh, awesome. Uh, of course, that will yeah. be a link that we put on the forever link for everybody to check it. out. Um, so, you guys, at the 10 year mark, here we are. 10 year mark for the Gravel Kings. Woo. Yeah. You guys have so much going on independently, and I love that. But is there a chance of new Gravel Kings shit coming together? Well, I did find a bunch of notes on my phone with all the songs that we were going to record. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, man, these songs are really good. We should just record them and put them out. So, right? Who knows? I mean, you never know. I'm not saying we're going to, but uh, you never know. I, you, you, yeah. Jordan, you see a little, te- you see a little teaser? Yeah. Yeah. See a little teaser how that's how that's going. On. Oh, I have a whole album of songs on my there phone is, that we're going song EP. to do. There is a seven song. There's EP at least that seven. We never, yeah, uh, yeah. And they're, they're all but three more songs good. and that could be an album. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah, it. Zach, I mean, and and for <laughs> and for Get five thousand dollars, you guys can have that album. Yes. <laughs> Click the link below. Here's there a you go. Donate. Yeah, here's that's in the forever links also. Well, you guys. Uh, for those of you tuning in uh, that don't know about the Gravel Kings, um, we got a treat for you because we're going to uh, share a little music from them uh, while we all go and get refills and take a little pee pee break, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> you guys are going to check out a music video from the Gravel Kings. This is You Were Loved. You're watching Jams and Cocktails uh, with the Gravel Kings. Next up, we have Name That Tune. Get ready for it. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Woo! Oh. Very 
just outside of the city that I, that I hated the most Now you got your reason for a cold hearted stare I look past your soul, you're straight into fear That, of course, the Gravel Kings with You Were Loved. Great song. We actually feature it regularly on our JNC radio station, our companion radio station. You guys probably get royalties for that at some point. Uh, huh. probably one, I haven't like checked the royalty one, account one, quite one some eighth time. of a penny for yeah. each time it plays. It adds up. Yeah. It adds up. It does. It sure does. You got enough to buy a guitar string now. One guitar string. You have, the, you have to buy a whole new pack now. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. All right. All right, you guys. Get your thinking caps on because it's time for an... Oh, I love That's that. Good. Who did that yeah. at that time? Yeah. Was I, that was Doug. <laughs> I was Doug. Good times. Good times. Put your thinking caps on. It's time for another riveting round of Name That Tune. Oh.
We ride the struggle bus here sometimes. All right, you guys. We invite all of our live viewers out there to play along with us in the chats and comments. We're, uh, of course, looking for the name of the song and the artist or band that's performing the particular song. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, as mentioned earlier, the category for ten- or I think we were off here, but but tonight's category for name that tune is six degrees of separation. Mm. And uh, nobody out there in the world will understand, but we'll understand. I don't understand here. Uh, are you guys ready to play? Yes. All right. Let's let's do, let's do it. All right. First song here on Name That Tune. And away we go. I made it down the coast in 17 hours. Picking me a bouquet. Here it is one more time for you. I made it down the coast in 17 hours. Picking me a bouquet. Everybody's feverishly riding down here. And uh, well, just, I'm just I'm hang on to your answers uh, yeah. until uh, we, we like to give a little bit of time for our, our live viewers. There's a little bit of delay always. Was that? Uh, so they are hopefully trying to uh, fill up God Edo with the name of the song. But uh, we're looking for the artist as well. Are you guys ready? Everybody ready here? Ready. All right, uh, so I'm up to your cameras there. Let's see what you got here in the lounge. Uh, what, Joey? Joey cheated. Joey cheated. <laughs> Bob. Bob mean? Dylan is the is he wrote the song. It is Bob Dylan. He wrote the song. What did you have, Jordan? Uh, it's not Darius Rucker. I had a this particular out. Darius Rucker did do it. Um, uh, it, it the hootie. Yep. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> old crow medicine show. It is the you old crow right? medicine oh, show. And wow. You got it. You nailed it. I was gonna guess. Yes. Old, <laughs> so I was gonna guess old crow medicine like show. Wagon, we <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. I was gonna, <laughs> but he sounds like Bob Dylan on that track. He does. It was he co-written does. Co-written by Bob Dylan. Yeah, no, Bob I know Dylan. it was co-written by Bob Dylan. I just didn't. Uh, I thought that was Bob singing it. It was yeah. co-sanked it like by who? Yeah. Yeah, it's Bob Dylan. Ooh. He is Hootie over here. Uh, Darius Rucker did a great version. Uh, he, <laughs> we really, I think he brought it into the 21st century and uh, and nailed it. He's but, a real uh, son of a bitch. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's a son of a bitch for every cover song artist on earth, including myself. And and to this day, I've played it probably 100,000 times. I still have to look up the lyrics every single time. To that second verse? To, to, to Why are there so many words in the I second don't, verse? I don't know. It's good. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, every time. I've sang it a million times. I have none of it memorized. No, it's an awesome show. It, it definitely has some banjo influence on me. That band is ah, yeah, Old, Old Crow. Crow like, show, if yeah, if you guys the notes. are into that kind of music in general, go check out everything they have to do. That was um, a big inspiration for us when we first started absolutely. doing all the, the Gravel King stuff. Now you're understanding the six degrees of separation. Ah, okay. ah okay. look at see. It's all coming Touché. together now. <laughs> How did you know this? Definitely. I know, I know all the things. <laughs> I know all the things. Creepy. Ready for the second clue? Yes, please. it's coming at you. Here we are. Second clue and name that tune. Lay it down on the shore in the cold, cold sand. Fate was the base of the river. Here it is one more time. I would say here it again. Lay it down on the shore in the cold, cold sand. Fate was the base of the river. The look on everybody's face is hilarious. What do you guys have out there in internet land? Come on, put these guys to shame. I'll play it even one more time. Please do. Here's the clue one more time. Lay it down on the shore in the cold, cold sand. Fate was the base of the river. For Yoshi uh, in the chat said, never heard of this. Are we looking for the, the artist and the song name? Yes, the song and the artist. Or at this rate, anything. Anything you got. I don't know if you guys are going to get this. <laughs> you just let me know whenever you're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready I guess. All right. Let's see what you guys have here in the lounge. Uh, Fate was the base. No clue. Revolution. Ocean weed. Justin Bieber. Gary Laser Eyes is actually the correct answer. Oh. And what did you have, Jordan? 
I had a bit blank. Oh, a big slate. blank slate. <laughs> no, uh, it is Gary Laser Eyes. Awesome. It is Moonlight. <laughs> And diving into some of their stuff. I, uh, I listened to that song on the way here, so, so that's why. <laughs> you cheated. Oh, Seriously. I thought you were just doing the plug. Oh, so you got it? No, I'm just kidding. I'm yeah. so, <laughs> I, I, it makes me want to break down my shit even faster to get over and catch some of their show because uh, their stuff is really, really great. Uh, they're they're a very cool band, and uh, I'm very stoked that they're opening for you guys. But yes, Gary Laser Eyes, you guys can catch that. I'm going to play the hook for you one more time. <laughs> You see them Friday night at the uh, Gravel King's 10th anniversary show at Terra Fermata. We'll be there. Golf course sand. <laughs> yes, exactly. I think that's what he says, right? Probably, I, yeah. I don't know. I, I believe I it's know. called a bunker or a trap. Okay. <laughs> that's the Florida boys talking. Bear trap. The bear trap. It's the golf capital of the world, other than Alabama, just saying. All right. Uh, continuing on with our sixth, six degrees of separation. Uh, here is the next tune. Rename that tune. So I am perfectly at peace what? I'll play that one more time for you, Zach. So I am perfectly at peace oh. <laughs> Jordan, the look on Jordan's face. I will. I, I will admit uh, when when I say six de- six degrees of separation, uh, it means it, it might be alienating some of our live viewers. They might. Ha- Hold but on. this is all music that you guys should tap into. Uh, it's very important. <laughs> Are you guys ready here in the lounge? Yes. <laughs> we should at least have a couple of good answers. <laughs> all right. Let's hear it. Let's. See. <laughs> Uh, it is Gartar. It's not Pizza Pie. Uh, Gartar, my favorite song, Gartar. Cool Sweat is the correct answer. Oh, Spider-Man, man. not so much. What did you have, Jordan? I was close. Nothing. I thought I heard Nothing. Pizza Pie, but maybe it was Pizza Pie. That's what it sounds like to yeah. me. Uh, That's what I pizza heard. Pie. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, it is Cool we're Sweat, actually, Deep Breath. We actually have a song called Peace of Mind. Oh. oh. Gargantua, Tarantula. Cool, cool, And you guys say you're coming. Is that band coming to the stamp? Yes. Oh yes, we'll God. be there at the oh, stamp. That's yeah. so exciting. I, I might have to figure out my whole life to come okay. and see that. You can probably catch it before. You get because it's all day. It starts at twelve. Yeah, we, yeah, we start. We play at uh, two fifteen. Yeah. That's okay. what I, that's about fifteen minutes before before uh, you start fifteen minutes into my set. Yeah, yeah. So you can do one you song and leave. Yeah. Pedal, right? So Zach, you I got any? Got uh, uh, <laughs> I, I, I smell a work coming up for me to do. <laughs> Brad Zach, I just don't sick. feel well. I think I'm going to be at your show later. <laughs> yeah. There's also a future show, I think, in uh, February, where bitch. Sandman, Libica, and Gartar is going to play at Matthew's Brewing <gasps> down on Lake Worth. Uh, yeah. You know, that is a uh, that's a venue that I really wanted to go to, yeah, never and uh, I've never rad. been. It's a lot of fun. Good and um, I I know they have like a great setup for for music out there. Um, that might be the one. That yeah. might be the one. Yeah, come yeah. check that one out. It'll I might fun. get that that date from you guys. Yeah. Call call out somewhere else. <laughs> Fair enough. I Don't love mind. selfish. I'm just man. joking. I you, know I, you know, I I get you switched. I, is it kill switched. Perhaps? I get you kill switched. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last clue. Name that tune. Six degrees of separation. Speaking of, yeah. yeah. Oh, don't give it all away, guys. Here it is one more time. <laughs> Jay Bird, I think he's uh, throwing up a uh, a guess from previous. He said Steel Panther. No, not Steel Panther. They're a great group, though. Jay Bird did uh, right on the dot. Got it in there. Maybe from our hints, maybe because he's actually really good at this game. He always comes through and, and nails it. All right, let's see what you guys got here. Uh, Limb Biscuit is not the right answer. Uh, Kill Switch <laughs> is correct. It's not uh, Rose of Sharon. 
Sharon, it's not there. It is Kill Switch, my curse. My curse. Kill Switch. It's Howard singing, though. That's it is. It is Howard singing. He's wonderful, by the way. Uh, I, I am blown away by all the stuff that he is. Jordan, did you have anything? It was wrong. Uh, it's not important. I want to know what it. What'd you write down, though? Oh, I put Libica. Love. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, you were close in six close, degrees. Closer. You were within six degrees of yeah. separation. Yeah, I thought there was a clue in the room. I, I almost put down Kissed by a Rose by a Seal. Oh. <laughs> I mean, where's my Batman yeah. costume? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's funny. Jay Bird said to Kill Switch Engage. He said, my curse. He said, I just love Kill Switch. So good for you, T Bird. Good band. Learning things about you every day. All right. Did you guys know that, in fact, it's National Trivia Day? Oh, no. I don't Is even it? think it's National oh. Trivia Day. I think it's actually World Trivia Day. Universal Trivia Day. Yes. Yeah, so I have Whoa. I have some trivia questions for you. So oh. keep those, keep board. keep those okay, boards, boards handy. Okay, cool. I like it. I like it. And uh, this is also for you guys out there in Internet land. It's World Trivia Day, and I've got some music trivia for you. So uh, it's not name that tune. It's just good old trivia. Uh, it's only five questions, uh, and they are varied. There is no uh, rhyme or reason to these questions. There's no pattern. So we'll just see what your knowledge is. Are we ready? Yes. Okay. First question here. What was Freddie Mercury's real name? Oh, that's horrible. Are we oh. should, are we doing uh, showing our cards for each one, or are we numbering all of them? No, no, no. You can show it for each one. Okay, we'll, okay. we'll, we'll, we'll uh, a very do a reveal. What was name. Freddie Mercury's real name? No Google braining out there, you guys. I know you're there. I know it's tempting. <laughs> for you, she said, "Useless trivia day." You're correct. <laughs> And Jaybird actually got it uh, this completely. Will be impressive. Nailed it. Nailed it. What do you guys have here in the lounge? <laughs> uh, Bob Saget, not correct. Farouk is actually correct. Farouk. Freddy Krueger. What did you have, Jordy? Oh, I didn't know I was playing too. Oh, you're playing too. I'm sorry. <laughs> you uh, you lost. I lost my team. <laughs> it is uh it's Farouk <laughs> Balsara. You don't play, you lose. <laughs> Farouk Balsara is Freddie Mercury's yeah, okay. real name. Okay. I was halfway. Uh, halfway there. Jaybird got it in the comments. Nice job. Pretty impressed. Very good guys all around. I'm impressed. I just watched the movie, so that's why I know. Uh, <laughs> see, that's good, though. You're a cheater. Well, yeah. That's pop, that's trivia, man. What do you yeah, think man. of the movie? I thought it was actually pretty I liked good. It. I, liked I liked it. it. I, liked I liked enjoyed it, too. it. It made me really want to go to Live Aid. I want more jean like, jackets. <laughs> like, go back moves. in time and go to Live Aid. <laughs> yeah. And all the outfits. Yeah. Yeah, it was all good. All of it. Yeah. Uh, uh. All right. Here's one that I expect uh, Jordan to get more than probably anybody here. Which member of the Avengers had a brief stint as a pop star? Uh, Which member of the Avengers, the Marvel Avengers, had a brief stint as a pop star? It's only because I went to the concert, huh? Oh, Jaybird said he cheated. Jaybird, no. If I'm Hold even on. right. No. For you, she said the Reels documentary is real good, too. Uh, if you want to get outside of the movie. The Reels documentary for Queen is good. Everybody ready? Yes. All right. What do we What do we got? What do we got? Uh, <laughs> I am Groot. No. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. No. Jeremy Renner. No. Mark Wahlberg. No. Jordan. What did you have? Brie Larson is correct. Oh. Brie Larson. I might have spelled it very wrong, but Brie Larson, uh, of course, Captain. Uh, Marvel. Captain Marvel, isn't, yes. Isn't Mark right. Wahlberg in the Marvel Universe though? I don't. No. I don't think. I don't think he have, might have. That was Transformers. I think he was in. In so. Ted. Also and in Ted. Ted. Yes. Yeah, Ted is the Marvel Universe, as far as I'm concerned. Yes. Uh, yeah, Brie Larson. I think she opened up for Jesse McCartney when Spider Man get in the car. My best friend <laughs> went to. A concert. Yeah, Jordan went to a Jesse McCartney concert, if you can believe that, and Brie Larson was the opening act. Yes, and we were awesome. like. 
<laughs> yeah, and then who? she and then she turned into Captain Marvel. Yeah, and she was uh, in about that Twenty First Jump her. Street. Mm. Oh yeah, that Twenty First. Twenty First. Twenty First Jump Street. Sorry, whatever. Well, there's Twenty Two. Oh, yeah, okay. Twenty. Well, I'm not even drinking. There's a, there's a lot of the Jump Streets. <laughs> <laughs> The 21st one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Bad Bob said Scarlet. No, no, no. Not yet. Scarlet, Scar- oh, Scarlet Johansson. Guess, she, she that might... is a good guess. Yeah, Uncle was good Jesse guess was on point back in the day. He had the band. They had the bracelets, too. Yeah. All right. You know what I'm saying? All right. Anyways. <laughs> Next question. Uh, Jaybird, Jaybird said <laughs> yeah. actually Groot was correct uh, because Vin Diesel had an album out. Did you oh. know that? I hope it's not terrible. Oh, I'm gonna look it up though. <laughs> it's gonna be terrible. He said. Uh, he said, yeah, of course, sure who voiced be. Groot. Um, that we might have to play that on the break. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need to find. We're that. gonna find Vin Diesel's album. And play that. What if it's really, really good? <laughs> we're a family. I don't know. <laughs> we're gonna start another band, guys. <laughs> All right. Damn, Damn Vin and the Diesel. Can't stop starting bands. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question. Uh, speaking of Live Aid, uh, Jordan, wow, what a what a wonderful segue. Which artist's entire 1985 Live Aid set consisted of just one single cover song? I know 1985, Wait, each and every one of you were at least 25 years old, like myself. Wait, what was the question again? <laughs> Which artist's entire 1985 Live Aid set consisted of just a single cover song one song that wasn't their own All right, I know. I, i'm gonna take a wild guess <laughs> and jaybird said the uh the vin diesel album was horrible Oh, no way. <laughs> Get right can't, out of that. I can't imagine <laughs> that that would have been bad. Love Vin Diesel. Great actor, I guess. All right. <laughs> Everybody ready? I guess. Really? All right. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Uh, you two, no. Guar, no. <laughs> Not Bowie either. Def Leppard, no. Elton John, no. <laughs> Jordan, what did you have? Elton John, Elton John also. <laughs> Elton John covering Freebird. <laughs> Everybody I would bombed love it. To see that. Yeah. No, no. Uh, Elvis Costello played at 1985's Live Aid, and he played one single cover song for his what? entire set. His Freebird. What was it? Yeah. Uh, that's a good question. I don't. It didn't tell me. Well, what song is? Google I mean, how long was this? Set? Like, I didn't get to sneeze. I think now. it was only like eleven <laughs> minutes. I think they only had eleven oh, minutes. The each joy band. has been That's stolen. Snug. Jordan, are you on it? I'm trying. She's yeah. on it. I'm All right. It. So she's gonna look that up. We'll circle back. Yeah. We'll and we'll circle back. Just Next right question moment. here: uh, Which rock icon was the founder? And this is a mouthful. Oh boy. What rock icon was the founder of the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Long-Haired Men? <laughs> what the Can you repeat fuck? that? Yeah, what? <laughs> All right. What rock icon was the founder of the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Long-Haired Men? I'm just trying to think of like a long-haired rock icon that's probably been picked on a lot. Ah, that's what I did. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh uh, boy. I didn't know this is what Elvis Costello looked like to be honest. <laughs> Adorable, right? Yeah. Big thick frame glasses. Just a beautiful man. <laughs> Interesting. I love some of his stuff too. It's all you need is love was the song, by the way. Oh, oh okay. let me just played all you need is love for eleven minutes. Yes. I, I, doable, doable, yep. doable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all that together so. now. Yeah. Uh, I said all together. <laughs> One, doable. Two. You gotta put down. Uh, I'm gonna put. Uh... For you, she said Brett Michaels, and that's not right. Uh, okay, one but off the list. A, but that's a solid guess. Uh, <laughs> the the uh, question, of course, which artist? Or no, I'm sorry. What rock icon was the founder of the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Long Hair Men? And what do you guys have? Uh, D. Snyder is a great guess. Not right. Jeff, no. Ozzy yeah. or Prince, no. Axel Rose, Jeff. no. What did you have, Jordan? Ted, Ted Nugent. Nugent, no. That's a good guess, though. Uh, yeah. It yeah. was, guess. in fact, David Bowie. David uh, Bowie was the founder of the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty 
to long haired. That sounds about right. Yeah, that makes sense. No. I like it. Yep. David Bowie. That was well, fun. I don't know anything, I guess. <laughs> in six degrees of bunches. separation fashion, Joey answered Bowie on another question, so I feel like he I got I feel like it. I'm only two degrees removed oh. from getting yes. that right. Six degrees of separation, two degrees removed from trivia. From the right <laughs> Bob, uh, Bad Bob came in under the wire there with David Bowie. Nice job, nice. Bad Bob Francis. I love your. Up, I love Bob? his photo bad there. Bob? He's clearly in a tuxedo. Does everybody? Does anybody know Bad Bob? We I all know, know, I know Bad Bob. Yeah. What's we up? all know How Bob. How you doing? <laughs> I'm bad Word. Bob. Word. One last trivia oh, question. May we? Oh shit. May we? <laughs> uh, Keith Moon and John Entwistle, Entwistle of the Who, of course, uh, are said to have inspired the name of which other classic rock band? Keith Moon and John Entwistle of the who are said to have inspired the name of what other classic rock band <laughs> i think you're wrong yeah i mean it's probably wrong all my answers all my what? answers are wrong yeah what i'm just year? guessing would you say it's around? well keith moon died i think like in 1980 so it would probably be somewhere 70s. in between there and when he was born hmm. all right i'm gonna erase this hold on <laughs> <laughs> we changed everything we changed the whole can you whole just repeat grounds. the question one more time one, one more time. time is keith moon and john enswitzel of the hue of the who like the hue the hue the hue uh, are said to have inspired the name of which other classic rock band Jaybird and the chat has got it. Don't cheat, Jordan. Oh. Ah, sure. Yeah. We can, we can see the well, I already wrote chat. it. I actually cheated because of Doug. <laughs> when he said two Ps, I was like, oh. oh. That's why I had to ask the question I asked. Uh, he also yeah, said he was going to erase it. it. Yeah. <laughs> so you might That's when right. I got nervous. I was like, oh. All right, let's sure. see what you guys got here. Um... <laughs> <laughs> the guess who is not right. That's a good guess, though. Pink Floyd, no. Led Zeppelin is the correct oh, answer. And I don't know it. who. Sorry. Right. <laughs> nice. uh, what well did you have, done, Jordan? Jordan? I put Led Zeppelin. Yeah, Only you got it, I too. kind of cheated. So the story yeah. goes that uh, Jimmy you. Page was keen on creating a new super group with Moon, Jeff Beck, and Moon's bandmate in The Who, John N. Switzel. Uh, Moon remarked that the project would go down like a lead balloon. <laughs> Ah. And the legend began to swirl, of course, not happy with before. the punitive power of a balloon page. And the uh, groom went on to be bigger and added Zeppelin as the largest balloon of all. So there you go. We have Very Led Zeppelin nice. because of Keith yeah. Boone, uh, who coincidentally, just today, back in 1970, ran over his driver escaping a bar fight uh, in England. Isn't that something? Oh dear! Sure just stood there. I don't know. Yeah, that's yeah. an that's intense evening, right there. Why doesn't the driver? <laughs> why doesn't this driver like you know drive? Got, got driving. So <laughs> what? Had, what had happened was so many questions. Uh, yeah, Keith not Moon good at his job. was uh, Keith Moon and his his entourage was in this pub in England, uh, being quite flamboyant as they were, and uh, it was a bunch of like working class skinhead types. Oh boy! Uh, that were in <laughs> oh there, and they they didn't take too kindly to all of it, and uh, they started a ruckus, and they chased them out of the bar. So uh, ran over to make to make a long story short, <laughs> they were like breaking in the windows of the car, and the driver got out to kind of protect the car because he was the chauffeur. Sure. He was literally the driver, yeah. and was trying to protect the car. Keith Moon got into the driver's seat <laughs> having never got his driver's license ever oh no and like my grandma and the guys <laughs> had too. these people had pummeled the driver to the ground in front of the car keith moon floored it to get out of there caught the driver under the mm. car dragged him the whole way oh, like the however many God. miles did he down live or did he, live? Oh, he did not live <laughs> oh, he didn't make moon, it. Yeah, the story goes that? that there was it was very he was almost it, non-recognizable when they asked. So did he not know he was dragging him? No, he didn't know. Uh, didn't know. Anyway. Well, that's a, but anyway, that's a lovely story. But that on happened this day? on this day in 1970. And then oh. that was after, that's a true story. Oh, it was no. in Gatorade then, too. 
<laughs> I'm going to let uh, that all simmer with you guys yeah, while we Sounds take like a regular day on Port break. St. Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> when we come back, we're going to put one of these knuckleheads on the hot seat inside the Lipton tea. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, yes. Snap. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, this next song from the Gravel Kings uh, hits home to any Treasure Coast native. Uh, <laughs> it's about a local watering hole that we all know and love or we know. We just know. Uh, <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> if you've ever been to the we bourgeois, you, you uh, perhaps know. This is the bourgeois blues. You're watching JNC. We'll be right back. Out all night with the friends and faces They tell me I'm capable of going places But I'm still here in the same old bar Just trucking along with the same old heart Oh mother, please, will you drink me to sleep So I can close my eyes and dream of Better dreams like the day we part ways And I could say goodbye To this suffocating town And all its ugly eyes I'll say goodbye You guys, um, so fun. Uh, anybody that's uh, from around here, as mentioned, you know, or or has come through here, has to go to the bourgeois. Like, I think it's a rite of passage. I always say it reminds me of like a like a train car. You know, like you, you get in there and you're like, you could be. It's the width of a train car, including the bar. It's it's so small in there. And the bathroom is just a drug paradise. Anything oh, yeah. you want, you can find it in there. Got got a lot of the cocaine in there. Mm-hmm. It's dirty in there. Lots, yeah. <laughs> you could probably, if you, if you don't even have the cocaine and you just want to find it, you can go in there. It's usually all over the floor. You'll see yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. You'll see it. The back of the toilet. Yes. Yeah. Just a little bit of cocaine and the feces. It's all it's all up for grabs. Yeah. <laughs> the bourgeois. I was literally, I was just playing a gig recently. And we were talking about it. And uh, I was talking to the bartender. And she was like, yeah, somebody got it. Some guy just came in here and said he got in this huge brawl of the bourgeois and uh, and then came here uh, to get away from it. 
bloodied every oh, the whole nine yards, man. you know, and was just like, oh yeah, just beat some old dude's ass out in the parking lot of the bourgeois. Like, I've <laughs> seen so many fights there. That's I, the, I've the seen most too many fights. Yeah, yeah too I many. think that's where all the like almost all the fights in my lifetime that I've seen have been there. I saw the guy that originally played bass been in, like, in this band fights get punched in the face at the bourgeois Mike? by a girl. Oh, ah, well, yeah. It was a crazy night. That sounds about right. Listen, <laughs> you, <laughs> the bourgeois, and, 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 and some of you might not, I'm a day drinker. I enjoy having drinks during the day. If you go to the bourgeois during the Me day, too. it's actually wonderful. That's exactly what I was going to bring up. Not to, and, and not to interrupt you, no, but when you said it's a train car, it feels like you're in a basement at two bars. Yes. Yeah. That bar and another bar that I won't mention. But <laughs> you feel like you walk down into a bar and you're like, damn, what level are we at? And it's obviously below sea level because we're yes. like at seven right now. Mm -hmm. There's no windows. Yeah, exactly. I don't think there's a single window in the bougie. But I love the not. train car analogy that's perfect because right? you it, feel like you're in a different world and you're being transported to this other town and they're just like hey what's up i'm working do you want to share a shot and i'm just like yes i do what, what what's yeah. up <laughs> free shots are abundant seriously yeah. oh yeah no, it just happens bourgeois two o'clock right in the people. afternoon is a Lovely. magical time it's a magical if time you need to pick me up after lunch because, because yeah. listen <laughs> nobody in there is trying to fight because they're trying to get their drink on and then go back to work yeah. Like, so <laughs> nobody's trying great, to fight. Yeah. Everybody just there. wants to get it in and then get out of there. And it's it's a magical place. Yeah. Nighttime when the when the hood rats go in, be included. Like <laughs> it's no good. It's no good. I mean, it is fun. Like you just have to you just have to play your part. Yeah. Be the wallflower. Stay out of trouble. Do your thing. Watch the people do what they do. Uh, it's great it's people watching. Wonderful. It's a good time. But it's yeah, one the of my bourgeois. Favorite pastimes. Yeah, the bourgeois at two in the afternoon on a weekday. <laughs> Another Remember story, that la the last time me and you went there, just the two of us. Oh, oh boy, that was that was hot. Yeah, almost got in a fight that <laughs> night. Uh oh. Yeah. It's, it, it's, uh, it's, uh, sometimes it's a little fiery in there. You know, yeah, you know, yeah. What could happen? Yeah. yeah, man. I just I feel like it. All it takes is like one catalyst. Somebody gets in there and they just. And it, it, sometimes it's me, and sometimes it's you. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. You know, like you never know I mean, what's going to go. Song. I, yeah. You lived like a block away. That's yeah. why it exists. Yeah, I actually that wrote most of the Gravel King song lyrics from that first album at the Bourgeois on Monday nights because that's that's the only night that nobody would go there. Yeah. Ah. Until, Silver until, Skies. Came yeah, from. Sil Silver Skies is about a conversation I had with a girl at the Bourgeois. A nice oh, no, lady. Shit. A yeah. nice lady. I'm sure she's great. I hope, I hope she's doing well. <laughs> I hope she's all right. Yeah. It's funny. I read a, an article uh, prepping for the show that that mentioned that uh, that that was. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, <laughs> that was a uh, that was actually one of the clues. Did we do that? Did we even do that clue? Did I skip that whole song? Yeah. Going back to yeah. That's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Four stars Did I for skip that? Kings? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, I could have told. I, I could tell you we would all have guessed it. Well, that was the whole <laughs> point. <laughs> I can't believe I skipped it. Wow. And we have dreamed of still. It sounds really good. Jordan, did I skip that? You did, because I would have got that too. We're just having too much fun. Yep. Yep. That's okay. We don't. Yeah. It's we won't skip fun. it this Friday at Terra Firmata. Wow. Ticket price pay for the whole uh, seat, but you only need the edge. You only need the edge. I <laughs> yeah. Come on down. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, here we are. We're back again. Uh, and it's uh, time to put one of these guys on the hot seat here inside the Lipton team. Uh, Zach gets a pass <sighs> because he's done this uh, once or twice before. But the other guys are on the wheel. Ooh. Oh, a wheel. Can we do a three way rock, paper, scissors? Or yeah, how is this like going to happen? No, we're going to. We have a wheel <laughs> of go, doom. Go oh. Uh, yeah. oh, where is it? <laughs> the wheel of doom uh, for you guys. So here we are. We're going to spin the wheel, and one of you is going to be put on the hot seat inside the Lipton T. Are we ready to find out who it's going to be? Is it going to be Doug, Aaron, or Joey? Oh, I see what's happening here. Will it work? Oh, shit. It's Doug! Oh, Doug! Oh, I'm sorry. It's Joey. It's Joey. It's Joey. I think it's still Doug. 
I was looking at the wrong thing. It's Joey. I can talk over here yeah. if you want. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's Joey. Joey is on the hot seat. What's the rules again? Oh, gosh. Well, um, just be yourself. Well, you got to take That's your shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, first, you have to take your shirt off. That's uh, important. No, um, this is a rapid fire interview inspired, of course, by the late, great James Lipton of the actor inside the actor studio, the host of inside the actor studio. This is a uh, inside the Lipton team. Here we go. I'm going to be honest. I'm not sure where this camera is going to land, <laughs> but I, I hope it's on you. Welcome to inside the Lipton tea. I'm Brad Brock playing the part of James Lipton host of Inside the Lipton Tea or the Actor Studio. I don't even know. God damn it. I'm here with the Gravel Kings. We've lost it. Joey lost the Wheel of Doom. And now it's time for you to answer these questions. Are you ready? I accept. Joey, what is your favorite word? This is a speed round. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Very <laughs> pensive. Very pensive. Letter. Letter. Like a letter. My baby just wrote me a letter. No, like a like oh. A oh. is a letter. One single letter. Mm. Okay. Consonant. I should say consonant. <laughs> Can I change my answer? Can we start over? <laughs> One consonant. This is going to be good. <laughs> what is your least favorite word? Fail. Oh, well, that's solid. Profound. Joey, what turns you on? Energy. <laughs> what turns you off? Negativity. Oh. Oh. Mm. What sound or noise do you love? <laughs> Makes sense to musicians, right? What sound or noise do you hate? Uh. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Oh, That's this is a grand good one. Jet. <laughs> what is your favorite curse word? I know that's what everyone wants you to say, but I, I really like, I think piss is hilarious. Piss? Well, piss. <laughs> yeah. All right, acceptable. Piss. I love that. Yeah. The fuck is the. I know. The yeah, every, singularly. I, in fact, I want to go back for all of our interviews and take all the fucks and just put it into one compilation. <laughs> one big fuck. And then we can go viral on TikTok. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Like all the inhales from Macho Man. <laughs> the yeah. super cut. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the cream always rises to the top. Uh, He's got the little cup. <laughs> <laughs> the cream always rises. <laughs> all, right. Think, all right. What profession other than your own would you like to try? Tattooer. A tattoo artist? You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> He's already a tattoo artist. Who? Oh. Uh. <laughs> well, you can't. You can't. Oh, okay. Are On you, this but, podcast, but, I play fucking but, but are you? And, but are yeah. you good? Are you good at it? I was setting yeah. up. A, I was setting yeah. up the, oh well, Jesus! <laughs> yeah. You've done all this. Yeah, he's setting up a later yeah. plug. Yeah. This isn't shameless plugs yet. Oh my bad. Uh, how many words is 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 a uh, uh, shrimp boat captain? Forest Gump. Uh, yeah, yeah. There. You... Wasn't it one one word answers? No. No. Oh, just, okay. Just you know whatever you want. Oh man, I'm so like literal. I thought the whole thing had to be one word answers. No, just fast. Okay, gotcha. That's all. We're still on this one, though. So speed it up. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing great. <laughs> so the, what profession other than your own would you like to try? Uh, Tattoo artist. Horticulture. Horticulture. Ist. Yes. Farmer. I don't know. Yeah. Dope. Yeah, that'd be tight. 
All right. I wouldn't want to try Farmer because of what I was discussing earlier. He's a succulent guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> what I job would you that. not do under any circumstance whatsoever? Uh, none. I would not do no job. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like I would not be a, a nun. nun. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, I can't. I was like, mm. But at the same time, like, no, I think, you know, do, do a, I, I don't feel that there's any uh, un inhonorable job on Ooh, you know just inhonorable that's get a, a word. job I like it. i'm working on it i'm working on it that's good that's i mean good advice conversating is a word now look it up in the damn dictionary thanks webster <laughs> it's conversing so everybody knows <laughs> well, that's it's fine conversing. i'm just old timey <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious! All right, so any employers out there, you know that Joey will do anything. anything. <laughs> Only fans, anything. I've been trying to get on that. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Feeder, medius. <laughs> but and finally, if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? So. <laughs> <laughs> <Here we go. laughs> love it, love What's it. Up? <laughs> Amazing, amazing. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, we've uh, made it to our shameless plugs version or, or segment, not version. This is the this is the version of what we're doing. The shameless plug segment of our show tonight. Uh, we're going to go around the room. We're going to shamelessly plug all the things that you may have or may have not heard of yet tonight. And um, I will then go back and listen to this and put all the links in our forever links awesome. and um, and hopefully drive some business to our business. Um, so with that being said, who wants to start our shameless plug? <laughs> all right. We're going to start with Aaron. Aaron, what do you got going on? Um, nice Ghost Town Guitars. Joey. What's that? He almost, Joey almost spilled his beer and caught it. I just said nice catch. Sorry. Nice. Cat like <laughs> reflexes. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> Ghost Town Guitars. Um, reverb is reverb.com slash Ghost Town Guitars. Gravel Kings, Terraformata Show. Um, can we get the Olive Garden in Jensen Beach? <laughs> <laughs> We're coming to see you, man. Oh, like, what's yeah. your? Well, do you yeah. have like a set schedule? Is there like a set? One hundred hours a day. <laughs> a day. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. okay. So just all the day, all the time, all, all the all of the times. Uh, oh, uh, see what you did the there. Uh, we will, we good. will come in. We will come in, and we will see you. Yes, uh, for sure, hundred percent. I love the Olive Garden. I, I love it. I'm sorry, the OG. When you're when when you're there, your family. Aww. <laughs> oh, dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> All right, Joey, go ahead and hit us, man. What do you got? <laughs> go to Terra Fermata on Friday for Gravel yes. Kings. Yes. Buy a Libica record. Come to a day spent show, and buy whatever stuff we have for sale. We have tapes. Like cassette, cassette tapes? tapes, yes. Yeah. Hell, oh. hell, shit, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Amazing. Go get, go get a tattoo at High Society Tattoo in Port St. Lucie. Um, give my cats food, and then, um, yeah, just like be a better person. Try it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so see how it feels. You're yeah. at you're at High Society. Yeah, that's that's where cool. you live at during the day. Yep, that's good to know. Nice. Yep. So listen, uh, true story. I I. I Got my first tattoo. I, I waited because my cousin is a tattoo artist out in Colorado and she came to visit and I was like, cool. I was like, now that you're here, I only ever trusted her with my tattoo. Uh, at least my first one. Yeah, that's what I was like, you know, I always wanted it to be her and I had my design in my head. I knew what I wanted and she came and I got tattooed in my my her bombs like living room <laughs> like that's punk how that's rock. how we did it no, tat and keep it, to tattooing punk rock that's my it's so good it's so good but uh, i've been looking for somebody to to do work locally so you're the guy so give it give it to me one more time uh high society tattoo in fort st lucie that is yeah. where is that located right next to what's well, on morningside shops plaza 
perfect. Yep. Oh. Awesome. So you can go to Harper's after. Yeah, you can go to Harper's. I'm coming yeah. to see. Did, did that used to be Mighty Mike's? So uh, two of the guys there uh, were apprenticed under Mike. I'm apprenticed under Mike. Um, nice. I'm, I'm a huge fan. Like, There's yeah. a lot of lineage in the shop. So it's a real deal tattoo shop. It's good stuff. Um, yeah. Good cool. We try to do a good, good job. Good. Awesome. No, I've, I've, I've always ever heard good things uh, about anybody that apprenticed under Mike. And uh, they, have free, they have they have free Gatorades. Yeah, <laughs> we're a little too. bit different of a we're yeah we're a little different of a of an experience of a tattoo shop. It's appointment only at the moment, um, but that's just because there's the the amount of people that's there can af can afford the time for the work. Mm -hmm. But when you come in, um, not to borrow a phrase, but your family. And uh, <laughs> uh, no, it's a little different. Uh, when you're there, it's your time, and um, yeah. No, I love that. that. However you want. No, but I love you'll it. Get a great, you'll get a great experience and we'll have a fun time. So very cool. Nice. I'm coming to see you. So wait, did, you, did you really do everyone's most of stuff? everything on everybody here? Yeah, yeah my oh, all, really? almost all my arms, except for these two new ones that I got on my oh, hands. Yeah. Joey was really a whole back piece. Oh, oh yeah. Back piece. Can, no can we do Come the back on. piece? Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. see. It's not done yet. Pull the pull the butt up. Yeah, no, no butt cracks. We'll get banned. No. Oh my God! Look at that! Oh dang! Oh, oh my God! That is a Florida dude. tattoo. That is a Florida tattoo. Gators and are you, titties. Are you from Florida? Yeah. Gators, yeah. titties, Panthers. Oh. It's all Florida. <laughs> no titties. There's no titties. Oh, did you say? I thought you said. Oh, you said kitties. Kitties. <laughs> kitties. He's got a kitty. Referring to the kitty. Panther. I, yeah. I, I, I got a. I got I a loaf titties. wolf. Yeah. I got a doggy. I, got oh, I love it. So Joey, epic. Joey did almost everything on my arms except for these two new tattoos I got. Uh, I don't think he was very happy that I did these. It's fine. No. <laughs> Those were like it was two weeks ago. It, it was a spontaneous oh, uh, cool. fun time thing. Well, now he has to fix them. See what I mean? Yeah. Well, of course. I understand. I understand. <laughs> I understand. No, it's, it's funny. <laughs> Cleaning Let, up the mess. I'll tell you a story. Yeah, yeah, right. So Jordan <laughs> went out with her friends on, uh, uh, I guess this was a couple of years ago now, yeah. um, on a Friday 13th, I guess. Friday the thirteenth is a time to go out and get Friday the thirteenth tattoos. That's Everyone the thing. It. it is. So it she is. went out with her friends um, to go and 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 get these tattoos, and uh, she got a teacup. <laughs> it was just a teacup with a uh, with 13th. Friday the thirteenth, and that's fun. And that a was cute it. Little yeah. teacup. That's yeah. Fun. And she was like, "Man, I can envision this. I can envision envision <laughs> this it. being like Chip from Disney, but also kind of gothic. You know. Yep." And they did not do that uh, because and it, we were there because it was like the thirteen dollar tattoo for Friday the Thirteenth. I got a Friday the Thirteenth tattoo from uh, Joey, but it was just happened to be that date. I was like, let's throw a thirteen uh, on it. Here oh. it is, right here. Check this out. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh you Doug! 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 So thirteen next to it. Yes. Oh, you can't see. It. Oh, you can't see it. There it is. That's epic. Quail man. So good, Quail man. Quail man. So the same time Aww. my cousin did my tattoo, she came and did a major cover up for uh, her on her foot nice. and like shaded she in gave and, life and, to Chip. and gave oh, life awesome. to Chip, like turned it into actual nice. Chip. And then I was yeah. like, I'm so sorry. I'll never get a tattoo by anyone else ever because they just suck. It's terrible. No, she it's brought it to life. Journey. Yeah. But that's no. part of the journey. cool. Like yeah. tattoo artists that take ta like terrible tattoos uh, and breathe life well, it's into karmic. them it's 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 karma yeah. nobody's good when they start <laughs> i'm just now getting out of fixing other people's shit because they had to fix my stuff you know uh, what i mean i've been tattooed okay, almost yeah, 15 yeah. years oh man so yeah, yeah. now people just come to me for what i do well i think i was the uh, first person you tattooed <laughs> that gun i remember that uh, it's gun not a gun it's a blaster it's a blaster yeah Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, so great. We're getting, a little meta. Shop we're getting too meta. <laughs> but yeah. the, the truth is, man, you, you like when it comes to tattooing, like I think you can only tattoo so much on like cantaloupes or uh, other various yeah. fruits that uh, I've no. heard that you train on. <laughs> uh, but like, <laughs> I think you just have to do it yeah. to to get it. And um, good on you. Thanks if, so much. if you're getting out of that echelon oh, to where no. now it's like people come to you and they're like <laughs> i need you to fix this fuck up uh that's that's i feel like that's no i'm honored level. i'm honored to do what i do it's it's that's amazing awesome. i'm coming to see you i'm coming to see you yeah. i'm i'm very simple i'm like I, I, I like a 
High society <laughs> tattoo. High I'm, society. I'm a, I don't want any color tattoos ever in my life. I only want black tattoos. Good choice. And uh, and and very simple. So, uh, but I'm not that you couldn't do nope. more. But Love that's it. all no, I that's, want. Tattoos are tattoos. Them. They're all fun. Even what the bad ones. It? Can I ask one question, Zach? Huh? How, how long did it, how long have you had those tattooed on your hands? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Yeah. <laughs> I just have one question. <laughs> I will. I, I'll. Let's yeah. not. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to drag anybody. And I did not do them. So yeah, that's, that's all. all that's all that matters. <laughs> that's all that matters. All right, Doug. Any shameless plugs for you tonight? Uh, yes. Come to the Gravel King show at Terra Formata this Friday. Also, check out you know Libica. Check out Gartar. Also, up and coming. We got a little cover band happening with me and Christina and Alex from Sandman. No. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we got a little fun thing happening that we're going to be doing here pretty soon. So awesome. nice. check that out as well. Awesome. Yeah. I Man, I, w- I was telling you guys before we went live, I was like, before I realized that they were playing at Chuck's tonight. Yeah. I was like, I was, yeah. I was still in Jordan. I was like, I was like, wouldn't it be cool if the girls showed up tonight? Like, we, oh, yeah. we, we, I, they were we, talking about getting, crashing. Yeah, it. yeah. yeah. I, was, I was so <laughs> stoked. And then I and saw then, they were playing. I was like, ah. I like, guess that's yeah. my fault. Uh, thanks them. for booking them yeah, the name of that band people. is going to be uh, Pink Radio nice Just Pink Radio yeah. it's yeah. dropped it. now I didn't okay. know that this is exclusive guys yeah, exclusive exclusive oh. can we get another bum, 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 on that? <laughs> oh shit Pink son. Radio Pink Radio I Pink love radio. it I honestly I think that's that's dope I'm, I can't wait dope. we're going to have some fun with all seriously like I mean you know their Sandman Sleeps is great the a lot two of talent girls, in that band. They're like Chris and Alex are. Yeah, so yeah, we we've, we've seen them uh, together as their duo, and it's just like it's so effortless. They're so good, and their <laughs> song choices are so cool and interesting, and they're just they're they're wonderful, and uh, that's very cool. I would love to see that full yeah, realization. It it's going to be a lot of fun. Dope, love it. Zach Jones, any shameless plugs? I've, you know, I've got so many plugs. All right, we're gonna put the camera on <laughs> Zach, and I'm gonna take a piss. And <laughs> <laughs> can I get a uh, refill real quick? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the time. Yeah. No, hit us, man. How much time do we have? Ten we're, minutes. We're doing great. All right, we're gonna have to extend have- the show tonight. <laughs> no. Forty-five minutes. Uh, so, uh, speaking of Chris and Alex, they're hosting the first Thursday of every month. They've got their open mic at Roasted Record. That's happening tomorrow night, and they're all themed. So tomorrow's celebrity themed. So if you want to come, luck. just dress like a celebrity. That, I love it. That, that I love that. That goes from six to nine, I think something like that. Yeah, I yeah. think it's six, six to nine. nine. Feels that feels right. That feels right. Usually, uh, Friday Gravel Kings, Terra Formata. Yes. yes. With with the Gary Laser Eyes. Seriously, I like those guys, those guys are great. You guys are awesome. <laughs> we already know that. Otherwise, we wouldn't have you here. Um, but like, those guys are great. I, I, oh, I, I, I'm not feeling very well, Zach. I feel like I'm not going to be able to go to my gig on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus I'm feeling it's very okay. sick, but I might be well enough by uh Cancel by eight o'clock. At this yeah. point, you're basically canceling like all your gigs this the whole weekend, weekend and, yeah. and leaving me to deal with it. No, no, I'll be there. I'll be there. I'm so close. It's so stupid. I will literally, in between songs, be able to hear Gay- Gary Laser Eyes, yeah. like blasting over <laughs> the rules. field. So, so I feel like I'll be there, but I will be there. Uh, those guys are great. Um, it's going to be a great show. I'm so stoked to see you guys again. And. Uh, <laughs> Nicely. Well, that was a good. Nicely. That almost like popped my ears so much I'm I can't so hear sorry. anything. I'm else. so sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't be sorry. Okay, I'm it's a sorry. wonderful sound. Uh, okay. Oh, carry that was good done. too. That was a good sound too. What was that? Who did that? That was the slurp of the last of the crown. God, this oh. is wonderful. Yeah. I need oh, some more. Good sounds. That was the last of the crown. <laughs> well, no, no, no just in my glass. <laughs> oh, I need some more in the glass. <laughs> I was That's like, all. damn, guys. Yeah. There's like three bottles over here. Okay, Zach, carry on. Uh, oh, Sunday at the stamp. Uh, you know, throw a bird at three stones. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's how that Sandman goes. sleeps. Uh, gargantua tarantula and Labica. <laughs> Good <laughs> pronunciation of everything. That was great. Yeah. Dude. I- and that starts at noon. Yeah. What time does the first of your band start? 2.15. Damn it. 2.15, 6.15, 7.30. 
Yeah, I could probably I could probably get to the six. Damn, you really memorized all the shit. Doug is, you got the whole got day planned out. Yeah. Doug's the guy. The Wait, who's, who's at two fifteen? Who am I missing? Gartar at two fifteen. <laughs> Damn it, that's okay. Oh. But you're gonna play. Yeah, you can catch us all together. That same. Oh yeah. Gartar, yes. Sam and sleeps Libica at Matthews Brewing on February seventeenth. Okay. That, that, that might be better. Plug right there. Yeah. That might be better. That might be better. Okay, come down for that. There's put beer, that, there's music. Put that on your calendar, please. I'm putting it on my and, big calendar. And, uh, Billy Doom is dead. <laughs> she's writing it down. Yes. Jordan's got Billy, a big ass Billy calendar on her desk right there that she's Breaking like writing news. down on. <laughs> what time? Brilliant. All day? Too? All, 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 which one? The, the Matthews? The Stamp no, Matthews is, uh, starts a little later. It's a four band bill. Uh, Billy Doom is dead is also playing with <gasps> our buddy Billy. Nah, man. I went to middle school with, with Billy. Billy. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, like... Uh, I, I, the Northport. Yes, the yeah. Northport. Me and Joey went to Northport. We, I think we missed you by a year. Probably. No. Yeah. 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 I was the cowboy. Like, I, I used heard. To, yes, <laughs> I was <laughs> legendary at Northport. <laughs> legendary. But yeah, Billy and uh, Joe Perdue and uh, who else was uh, in that, that group? Um, God, they were... I don't know. I always looked up to them and I feel like we were always just like we we didn't mesh because I was a country just guy a boot, and they away, were like they were buckle. just eh. they were just punk rock guys, you know, <laughs> yeah. so like we respected each other, but we couldn't hang out because it just didn't make sense. Nope. Um, and uh, but I always admire them. And uh, I ran into uh, this was years ago now, but I ran into Billy at a house party just randomly. We were all just hammered and uh, like we just had this really cool conversation just about respect for one another from like childhood oh, yeah. to today. And I'm so glad that he's doing his thing. Oh, and, for sure he and, is. and like, I've listened to, to the music and I'm so stoked by it. Like I I'm, uh, that's the show. I'll, if I'm playing on February 20th with you, 17th, I'm going to be oh, 17th. <laughs> I'm going to be very sick that day. Dude, February 17th. I'm going to look this up. I'm right going to be very sick. And, uh, and, uh, in, in, you have some time to wildly us. indisposed. February 20th, <laughs> Shit, dude. I got some bad show. news. Yeah. <laughs> You're at Chuck's. Oh, no. Oh, now we'll get so we'll get someone to, to take that one over. All right. We'll figure it out. Yeah. One more shameless plug. I built Billy's uh, guitar. Did you Going really? Right. Guitars. I probably <laughs> a few people's a couple. guitar. Yeah. Oh. Yes. He put together me and Christina's pedal boards too. What? Yep. He helped me with my bass as well. We uh, did our uh, our whole triage through our amps and guitars before we went on uh, the last um, flyout with, for yeah. Libiga with this guy. Yeah. So, yeah. Triage. I love triage. that. <laughs> Got to. So what's Aaron, not Aaron's working? What's going to work? Yeah. yeah. Together for yeah. sure. Now Aaron Teams Ghost Town Music. Uh, Excellent, so, so excellent it's, taste. it's not just a boutique for buying things. Oh, he like knows you what the do, hell he's doing. No, he does. Yeah. You do all kinds of you use setups and things like yeah, that, all that stuff. stuff. Yeah, <gasps> I learned from the 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 great uh, John. Mc, I, how do you say his last name? John McCauley. There you go. John Johnny McCauley. McCauley. Yeah. Who is a, is a future guest on the show? Actually, is he? Awesome. Uh, he sure oh, cool. is. Uh, he, he built my guitar. Yeah, actually. he's awesome. Yeah. No shit. Ask he him about me, the, He taught oh me a lot. We are we are really coming full circle here. Yeah. Six degrees. <laughs> Six yeah. degrees. Yeah. It's the truth. How fun. That's very hey, cool. He's super awesome. I used to just literally sit at, like, at Guitar Center when he worked there and then at, at his house now that he has his own little guitar right? shop and everything. Yeah. So he's doing that no kind of stuff. No kidding. Yeah. Super awesome. Yeah, no, took, well, no uh, wonder you took you, you took eyes on that old Telecaster out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. You were like, oh, that's a nice Telecaster. It needs so much work. <laughs> you'll never be able to afford. Here's my card. Yeah. <laughs> he took a Squire Strat that I found at Karsten's house. And I was like, hey, this is what I want to do to it. And that's like my favorite guitar. It was like a hundred dollar guitar. I was just talking about this last. Night. I love yeah, that. I love that together. thing. It's yeah. my favorite guitar. That's so funny. I'm surprised he's not tuning in. Johnny uh, tunes in from time to time to the show. Awesome. And uh, and he, he is scheduled to be a guest in the in the coming months or so when we can get it organized but um yeah, that's that's awesome. wild that's crazy yeah. very very cool dynamite um i'm learning so much about you <laughs> he's a sleeper well what good is. uh any other shameless plugs uh i think that's it uh the, i plug the live music at the places real quick uh, yeah hit it uh check seafood uh, Wednesday through Saturday nights, except for uh, February. 17th. <laughs> except, yeah, except for February seventeenth, <laughs> because Brad Brock's gonna call in sick. Uh, Sailfish Vero, uh, twelve to three on Saturdays and Sundays. 
Sailfish, Fort Pierce. Uh, uh, Fridays and Sundays we got live music. Uh, Collab Kitchen Wednesday through Sundays, and then District Table Thursdays and Sundays. Nice. And Gilbert's Friday nights. Yes. And that's, those are all the places. Snorkel Corn's booking the live music. Uh, I, I I think there might be a duo uh, with me and my my gigs uh, here in the uh, in the next year, like over like starting this year at some point. Uh, Alex from Sandman Sleeps and me are gonna do a little yeah, duo yeah, yeah. Uh, nice. here and there. So good stuff happening. Uh, look it out. Look out for that. All music, just all the time. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's that's, just, what, that's what we love to do. Love it, yeah. Yeah. Music, all play music, music doesn't matter. Aww. Very very cool. Perfect. Love it. Any here shameless plugs, Jordan? Um. No, I think think we have enough there. Yeah. Nice. Okay. All of um, what they said. Mine are going to be super quick. Please subscribe. Hurry up. Yeah, please subscribe <laughs> to our YouTube channel. Uh, it's literally singularly the the freest, most important thing that you can do for us. Uh, we hope that you do that. Please um, like, follow, and, and uh, share us on various other social media platforms. If you're listening there, check out the Jams and Coffee Morning Show each weekday morning. Uh, wherever you're watching this show, it will pop up there as well in the morning. Um, you might have one eye open, but that's all you need. And you can keep your ears open. And uh, it's a great time. Like, honestly, I'm I'm very salty. And <laughs> uh, and I read news stories with that demeanor. And we have a really nice time. Uh, so check it out. 8 a.m. weekday mornings. I'm up. Believe it or not. I don't I'll know, I'll, I'll I don't be know up, how you do it. I'll be up <laughs> tomorrow morning doing this. Yeah. So, so uh, check it out uh, and uh, subscribe to that show as well. You can also listen to that show on JNC Radio, as I mentioned earlier. It's our companion radio station on jncpodcast.com. Or you can download the free JNC. No, that's a lie. You can download the free live 365 radio app uh, and type in JNC Radio. Find us, add us to your favorites. You can get that on your mobile device or your Roku TV or any smart TV uh, that is available. There are sponsors and partners at Code Rum, Hop Life Brewing, the Sneaky Tiki in downtown Stewart, the Bug Juice, uh, Bug Repellent and Skincare Products. You can uh, also check out Chesser Custom Designs for all your laser and uh, laser engraving and etching needs bradbrockdesign.com that's me uh if you need any graphic work done any audio work done anything you need done creatively hit me up if i can't do it i'll send you to somebody that can if you want to do it yourself i'll teach you how to do it i have no qualms with that hit me up we're gonna get your shit done and uh we'll do it quickly you can check out uh my one man band shows at bradbrock.com if you want to come and see me play and if you've ever wanted to live aboard a sailboat, I implore you to go to live, learn to live aboard.com. My friends, Brett and Kim have a wonderful blog there. They've been living on their sailboat for 15 years, uh, sailing around the world. They're wonderful people. Wow. They know what it takes to live out there. And uh, I, the, the Kitty Hawk is the name of their 44 foot, but 44 foot sailboat. Talking, say that three times. Talking fast. is hard. Forty-four <laughs> foot. Um, Fuck, I can't even yeah, say one see, time. Can't say one time. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful people. They're they're in town. I hope to see them very soon. Uh, but they have a great blog. If you've ever wanted to live aboard a sailboat, check out their blog. They outline the good, bad, and the ugly when it comes to living aboard a sailboat. And they're great people. It's all fun. And you can even email them if you have specific questions. Uh, that is learn to live aboard.com and if you love what we do please go check out our patreon it's a subscription based thing it's like only fans without all the titties ah boo might be some titties <laughs> might be some titties you never know you never know but uh <laughs> check it out it's five bucks a month it really helps us offset some of the things oh yeah, shit yeah. Did I pulled out a titty oh shit we need some money for that. You're, yeah, yeah. yeah. You Seriously, that like <laughs> the reason we're able to do like the hot challenges, or like uh, I think we're doing the teddy bear challenge in a couple of months or a couple of weeks, not a couple of months, a couple of weeks. Um, uh, the hot, the hot gummy bear that's happening. Uh, that's all because of Derek and Patreon. 
Uh, <laughs> so please uh, go and subscribe to that. You get some behind the scenes footage. You get some exclusive footage there. And uh, as I always say, if you can do, if you can't share. Uh, so uh, we, we don't need your money necessarily, but we would love for you to share the show with everybody that you know and love. And uh, the more people in the chat room, the better, because it's just better for you. So anyway, that is my shameless plug. Well, then. We've come to the end of the show. Oh, well, you guys survived. Already? It's been a pleasure. Wow. Thank I you know, so much for I having know. us. Oh, man. Thank, Thank you, you so guys so much for being here. Thank you all so much for joining us live tonight here on the show. I hope you all enjoyed Thanks it. For having us. Let's hear it once again for Gravel Kings. Woo! Woo! Yes, come in with us Friday night. You see them at Terra Formata. You guys are hitting the stage at... Uh, 8 30 p.m. 8 ish. Yeah, 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 probably. Might be 8 27. I don't but, know. But seriously, <laughs> get there get there earlier because you're not going to want to miss Gary Laser, Laser Eyes. Eyes. Uh, seriously, sure. uh, from what I've heard, they're very, very good. So get there early. Get in there. Get your beer on. Check out that show. Check out Gravel Kings. I'll be there as soon as possible. <laughs> as soon as I can fucking get there, I'm, I'm going to be there. Uh, I'm a block away. So it's going to be a great time. We love it. We love it. We love it. Uh, next week on the show, we're hanging with rock and roller Vern Dazel. Ah, we're gonna be he's great. Yeah, we're going to be talking about his brand new album that he just released. So uh, check out that show next Wednesday night. Until then, you guys, take care of yourselves and each other. Yes. yes. Thank you. I'll awesome. see you Thank tomorrow. You so much. I'll Thanks, see you man. tomorrow for the morning show. No, you won't. <sighs> Eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Broadcasting live from the legendary JNC Lounge. I'm Brad Brock. We love you. We'll see you. Good night. <laughs>